And we're live. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, everybody's enjoying their Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Welcome to the weekly gaming update, your source for weekly gaming news. I'm Rob. This is Steve. And as always, Hi. we're joined by Bren and Jay. What's up? What up? You can find us live every Sunday at 7 ish Eastern. <laughs> ish. 7, 7 30 ish. ish. Here on Twitch and Facebook, and you can also find replays on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, in video format, and on podcast services and audio format on Mondays around 2 p.m. So before we start the show how we normally do, we're going to do a little bit of an announcement. It is official now that Jay is part of the Warp Point team, so welcome, Jay. One Thank you, us, guys. One of us. Yeah, one it's an of honor. Us. One of us. One of us. Stay, you're, you're in it for the thing, Jay. to teach you the secret handshake after yes. the show. Right, yes. 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 And then <laughs> another big thing is Steve's back in Pittsburgh, so he can be here with me. Yes. And who knows? He can, he can be Rob's under the desk, buddy. <laughs> He is my. I'm not, so my, not Michael Lewinsky. That's, that's why you. That's what it'd be. Jay, shut up. Yeah. So, so if Rob's screen starts doing this. <laughs> you would love it. If you're listening. If you're listening to the podcast, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to be scarred by the the orgasm face. Yeah. Oh my god! Really? Son of a bitch. Right. The, uh, hey, that's uh, a compliment uh, to you. It's saying uh, you'd be good at it. I'm a head out. <laughs> and on that, I'm a head out. I'm a head out. <laughs> Calm down there, SpongeBob. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Yep, I'm out. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's start this off how we normally do. And we will start with Brendan. So, Brendan, what have you been buying? What have you been watching? What have you been playing? What have you been doing? Well, I returned to Aorzea a couple of times. I, I got back into playing 14 a little bit. There you go. Because uh, I took some time. I was playing uh, Trails of Cold Steel for a while. Right. You know, I was just feeling that JRPG itch. Yeah. Um. Other than that, I, you know, I did a little bit of Warfare, been doing a little Destiny. That's it. I uh, haven't really been buying anything. Right. Because uh, the wife and I recently made a large purchase. Huge. Huge Mungo. Huge. Now, so you're good to Huge. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll be able to be more involved like Rob with help building the Warp Point brand with this purchase. You will be, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. But it's a house. <laughs> Hopefully, the basement, you know. No, you can always have a base basement. Oh yeah, that'll be Warp Just Point Central. <laughs> I was gonna say, you mean the stream basement? It's not <laughs> the stream cave. Yeah, stream cave. I mean, stream cave. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so, Jay, how about you? I know things are crazy well, on your end. I mean, it's it's starting to stabilize. Got a job, so we we'll work on working on a schedule soon. I just gotta wait until we get a get a place, and then once we get a place, we're good. Well, that's good. Um, right now, I've been been doing a lot of uh, Warzone, uh, Final Fantasy VII. Whenever I get a chance to, I haven't been playing the uh, PlayStation name. We and then uh, a couple of games here and there. I know. Nice. No, we got we got to do the discussion. Yeah, we 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 gotta get it. <laughs> So that's it. Nothing else. No, nah, that's about it. Been working. That's pretty much it. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. Steve. Um, honestly, just some fourteen stuff. Um, but now that I'm gonna start playing some FF7 remake that Rob's on <laughs> Um, but I actually, might start streaming it actually. Um, yeah. And it's, since I've been, I'm trying to get back into actual streaming for Warpoint, so uh, I have to get that information. So people can check the stuffs out. I'm gonna start doing some 14 streams or seven streams. Nice, nice. Try to be like you guys and just you know <laughs> do a stream. But, you know, I usually like to make my 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 streams kind of funny, kind of like a little commentary. I don't <laughs> mind. I still have to learn how to uh, look at the chat and respond while still doing what I'm doing. Cause last time I was in a raid, 
and like I got hit hard because I was trying to look at someone's comments. Um, and that's something I, that you'll get used to with responding to chat in yeah. certain times. You know, um, it's definitely just always keep an eye on it. Yeah, you keep an eye on it, and they'll understand if like you know you got an intensive fight going on that you can't really answer at that yeah, second. Yeah, I figure that's right. People understand that. Plus, I think you used to have Especially action-based RPGs. If somebody's playing, like, a turn base, they'll probably be like, why aren't you best saying anything back to, uh, like, two two strikes? Yeah. But uh, it's not even that, just having the screen smaller since it has the stream on it. So, like, I have to get used to that as well. We get used to that. Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, trying to be like you guys and get some more followers and bring some good content. <laughs> nice. You can do it. You can do it. By the way, you have to use the face cam when you when you do the cloud scene right. with uh, cross dressing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll let him use the. You know, game. absolutely. <laughs> I didn't even know that was still in the game. Did oh, I was hoping anything? it was. What do you mean you didn't know that was still in the game? I remember them saying. Like I, I ran around the town trying to do it, but from what I can remember, like I, I couldn't really talk to anybody about getting dresses and stuff. Like no, it felt it like was, it rushed me through it. It was it was a set point, yeah. There was different things that you could do. Um, it was a different sequence of events, though. Um, mm -hmm. Certain things that you... I, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil <clears> it because Steve's still got to beat it. And yeah, I got to beat it. Also, I want to I'll apologize. beat it before Steve, so... I want to apologize Whoa. right now. Um, it seems like Twitch is dropping frames a decent amount. Um, so yeah. if it's laggy, I'm sorry. Uh, I actually lost, I have the stream pulled up on my other monitor Yeah, and it cut it. It said your browser encountered an error while decoding the video. Yeah, that's Twitch. Yeah. Twitch is, Twitch is, uh, iffy. So if you are trying to watch on Twitch and it's not working, <clears throat> Facebook is probably a better option and you can always watch it live or the replay on Tuesday or listen to the replay. But I just want to throw it out there and apologize. Yeah, because you record it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it'll still be to the best of the degree we can get it without our service provider crapping out on us. It's not even that. It's it's Twitch. Oh, well, kitty. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Twi Twitch is a service we're using. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's frustrating. Yeah, I'd understand. Um, I'm about to switch. <laughs> well, it's better than Facebook in terms of other other ways. Yeah, I just gotta. I, I I'm pretty good at networking so far. Yeah. Sweet. Um. So as for me, I beat seven. Uh, I finished The Last Kingdom season four. I started watching Solar Opposites, which is funny as hell. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's about what I got going on. Nice. Respectful. Uh, I I feel like I forgot. Uh, Solar Opposites is actually really good. Mm, I started watching The Witcher. Oh, yeah? I totally forgot about it. Yeah, so, I started watching, uh, you just uh, now started watching it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I so disappointed in you. Oh, I'm, just, I'm disappointed in myself, buddy, okay? You're not Toss a coin to your it's, Witcher. It's such a good series. Like, it's one of the... That and Castlevania are pretty much the only two series yeah, I've, also, been, I've seen do video games well. Dude, the Castlevania is so good. I just watched the third season. Well, actually, um, you know, yeah, don't I, watch the third season with kids around. Yeah. Yeah. No, like I just finished that one too a couple days ago. Well, the only thing I wanted, didn't want to watch the Witcher is because like I never played a Witcher game other than like Bren, Brendan's randomly when I was over. He'll be all right. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't need right. to. Well, I don't know. I mean, like it it explains. It, it, it gives you lore. Yeah. It gives uh, you the basic lore that you need. And you just reminded me, Jay, Castlevania is another one I was uh, Castlevania is really good. Again, I've never played any, so I don't know, like, do I really need to... What? I I have a... Shut up. Well, I long story list. short, Dracula list. comes up at random times every hundred years to fuck shit up. That's Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> it started... It, that and Metroid started the... Uh, the Metroidvania style. Yes. That I'll watch it too while I'm watching The Witcher. Dear to me. Okay. Yes, you better. Yeah, I love Metroidvania. Totally. All right. So, <laughs> uh, 
yeah, with that there, we'll move on a little bit to our community's question. Now, with the community question, um, you can answer in our chat. You can answer on our website or uh, our Discord. Join the Discord. There's links in our streamer links, which I will post up momentarily. And links below if you're on Twitch. Um, Facebook will be up in a second. They might be in the description. I don't remember. But answer it, and we'll read them back. Um, with us taking our three-week-long, two-week-long hiatus, we didn't have anything from the last one. So yeah. this week's going forward community question is, what is your favorite genre? Ooh, that's a toughie. And we'll come back Ooh. in a little bit in the show and answer the ones that we get live. And we will talk about them next week if we get responses after the show. So, yeah. I, I figured that was a good segue talking about Metroidvania genre. <laughs> yeah. Well, there. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a gamer. I like I like multiple genres. Me too. The only thing I can't do is the Soulsborne games because they upset me. That's Brenda. That's Brenda. <laughs> Brenda, <laughs> Brenda will school you on that shit. Status stuff right there. Oh yeah. Right. I'll do. I do. A, I'll do a follow. Or like a thousand fo uh, followers. <laughs> update of Bloodborne. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's so, a fun one. Too. Next up is my review, my rapid review, off the cuff, unrehearsed, two minutes, talking about Final Fantasy VII. Well, you probably re uh, rehearsed Boop. it in the mirror earlier. Do you want me to set a timer? Hold on. He's got the button. Oh. Uh Cool. Look at us. Look at Rob, all professional. All right. Well, actually, I had to add the Behringer into the scene because I, originally it wasn't planned that I was doing any of the rapid reviews. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a timer. And I am getting ready to go now. All right, so my review of Final Fantasy VII, spoiler-free because we will be doing a spoiler cast. I love the way that they included some of the extras into it. It didn't feel like fluff. It felt up until a certain point. After towards mm. endgame stuff, this it kind of felt like fluff to me. But mm. overall, the additions to it felt good. I love the combat style. It took a minute to get used to. Um, probably second or third chapter i was rolling in it the difficulty on normal i thought was perfect um i like the fact that you could jump back and forth between normal and easy if you had to for certain bosses i like the fact that playing through on normal or easy didn't take away from the story at all um the story itself i don't know if there's going to be changes to it because it's things that happen going forward in the next installment of it mm. but so far i like the changes up until end game yet again <laughs> um but they yeah, know what they're doing it feels really good it looks beautiful my god it, midgard never looks so good okay. i love it like and and then the music oh i get chills every time oh you know like mm -hmm. when, when they when the game first boots up and it's that screen the iconic sword with the black background scene and you got just the the interlude that plays behind it yeah i mean it it just just <clears throat> and yeah well let me let... go ahead oh I was, I was about to i was way to your finish well that Sorry. that that's my two minutes for rapid review yeah, okay i I, will, I have to say this it, the game about made me cry multiple times uh, just wait I there don't know. were certain set pieces i don't know where you're at right now i'm i'm going to rescue earth oh oh you got a lot more to go oh. yeah i'm doing all side quests right now for everybody i'm, I'm yeah. going to don cornello's place now yeah, you got a lot more to go. There's some. I know, I know. I got feel like at least another ten hours. Uh, so, did you do the Coliseum? Yes, I didn't do all of it yet. 
I love the Coliseum. I thought that was great. Oh, oh yeah. Listen, yeah. Did you guys did did you fight Hell House then? Yeah, fuck Hell House. You fight him again. That was such a dragged out fight. It was dragged out, but it wasn't that. It was hard. That's it that's was what hard. it was. Are you about the Hell House <clears throat> fight? That Hell House? But it. Yeah, it is the but it's not the first boss you fight. But yeah. I don't know. Like, what we'll, we'll that? Like, because we can we can cast from the original. Wow. And, uh, you know the homages to it and all that. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're working. We're working live, guys. This is how we work. <laughs> it's the routine. Right? We should do this, okay? <laughs> but yeah, we will definitely have a spoiler cast here in the next couple weeks. Um, hopefully, Steve and Jay can grind it out, and we can do a full onboard spoiler cast. Now Steve's looking at me. I, like, I got some time. <laughs> All right, so... I got, I got a couple hours a day. Now that the news is over, or the rapid review is over, we can start with the news. Woo! Do, 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 do. A lot of sh... <laughs> Just wait. This is going to be a mix of all the news over the last two weeks. Yeah, so this is news dating back two, two and a half weeks. Um, so the one thing... I'm not sure if they already did or not, but we'll get to it. So, right off the bat, and especially because now we're even closer, we are about 15 days, uh, maybe 17 days away from The Last of Us 2. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm proud of myself. I'm yet to watch any of the spoiler stuff on it. There are spoilers rampant. I mean... Yeah, I'm surprised. So you've been staying off social media? It's every... Ma, what's up? You've been saying all social media because I see it every time I go on there. Yeah, pretty much. Well, like I, I don't follow some of the gaming reporter guys like you do. I don't. I just followed game publishers category and it started putting everybody in my shit. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but Naughty Dog started to do a thing on Twitter. That it isn't available to everybody, but it's available to a bigger name people. Like I've seen, um, what the hell, the Beast? I can't remember his name now. P people with hot takes. Yeah, people that are like in reactions, and and, and you got to have like a high profile account, are getting a thing where they can stop responses on Twitter. Uh, they can set it to like only people they tag or only followers can be right. Hmm. Um, Fair. yeah, so they're doing that. It's interesting. Um, like the one guy, so many hot takes. The one guy, the beast, he uh, he give he does giveaways all the time, like huge giveaways to his followers and. He did this one, he goes, just recently goes, if you can comment on this, I'll give you a $10,000 visa. And he's been known to do stuff like that. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. But he has comments turned off, so nobody could do it. Like, way to go. And then he's co then he's commenting on it like, I guess nobody wants this money, sad face. Yeah. Wow. It's like, I mean, that's in yeah. the middle of an outbreak, bro, everybody wants that money. Yeah, stop being a <clears throat> bag. Oh. I mean, I, I think he meant it as a joke, but, you know, the current state of affairs, you have to have some compassion. Right. I'd some, if anything. At least some. Being, being a rich dude only gets so far. Right. Um, so, up next, we have Fortnite is screening an entire Nol Christopher Nolan movie for free, in-game. Um... I don't think there's a date for it just yet. And they haven't even said what game it is. I mean, obviously it's going to be Dark Knight. Batman. Yeah, it would have to. You know I mean, what? He's, he's on other movies, but nothing quite prevalent. In, Inception? You know? Oh, shit. I forgot. Are we going to have Inception in Fortnite? I can see, um, I'm still going with Dark Knight. I don't know. Inception, Memento, Interstellar. Those are yeah, I was I was looking through the article. It said a new trailer for Christopher Nolan's Tenant premiered in Fortnite. Yeah, they, oh. they, they did a trailer for it, 
But they're going to do a full-fledged movie, too. Do the online pool right hmm. now. <laughs> Special segment, online pool to see what movie they're going to... Yeah, so if you guys, our listeners, our followers, if you guys think you know what it is or you have an opinion on what it is, find us on Facebook, find us on our Discord, and tell us what you think. I think yeah. That's a little... Thing. Yeah, because they're doing I. It says iconic. Yeah, iconic. So, iconic is subjective to the reader. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, it very, it very much is. You know. So I mean, if it's not much. Batman, I'm riding. If it isn't Batman, I'm riding. <laughs> if it isn't Batman, I'm riding. Uh, Batman, I'm riding. I will tear down yeah, this I'll Fortnite do- city. <laughs> I will. I will do. I will play Fortnite on computer if they put a Dark Knight or Batman. Scanned in the game. Oh shit! <laughs> you hear now this? I don't have Who's to buy listening? a battle pass for. Ten cent. You hear this? Jay oh. will get it for computer. It's not ten cent again. Hey, it's just a quick download. Right. I got a terabyte hard drive. Thanks, Rob, for your video. Oh, you're welcome, <laughs> bud. And you guys can check out that video too on our YouTube, which link in the streamer streamer links for how to install a hard drive into your computer. <laughs> nice I am Jay. the king of self promotion. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. That's why I had to throw that there. <laughs> um, Bren, you want to take the next one? Sure. So Valorant is finally getting a release date, which will be great. Now we don't have to see 10,000 streams filled with twenty to 30,000 people with 500 accounts each. <laughs> all hoping really that feel? they can get their hands on keys for the beta play. And Rob point. with a vein popping out of his head. I think Brent's definitely doing a like a subtle TED talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, dude, like that—that totally that was probably one of the most annoying things that I saw on Twitch lately. Yeah, well, there's a lot of annoying shit on Twitch. It's, it's, yeah. It's a Brent talk. So that release date is set for June second. Yes. And the what is? Okay, so the beta ended a couple days ago. So we're getting this. Well, somebody's, well, other people are getting this game. I'm not playing it. No, nah, I'm not really worried about it. I don't want to play quite Counter Strike. Yeah. So, yeah, we're finally Four getting a release months. date, which means we don't have to see overinflated numbers on Twitch anymore. For now. Yeah, exactly. For now. For now. Please look for now. Please look but for I'm, no. sure, I'm sure that there's going to be other, other ones. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Tarkov's coming back because of the white. Yeah. So the games are going to come and go. They're they're fun in the sun's been is la is is just, pretty much over. It's going to drop. As I ranted about before, I don't like the the beta release keys yeah, through Twitch talk- streaming. Yeah. But we won't get into that. That's that's something that we can have a event cast or something for. <laughs> yeah. What really grinds my gears. Yeah. What really grinds my gears. <laughs> Um, well, Synergy saying you forced him to buy a shirt. Oof. I didn't force him to buy a shirt. I just said that he should. <laughs> or, no, I did say he needed to. You're right. <laughs> You're right, Synergy. I did he's, make you buy a shirt. He's like, I understood what you were saying. Wing, wing, nod, nod. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Synergy came in and he goes, see, hey. He goes, hey, right. I bought a Dr. Disrespect t-shirt. And I'm like, ah, oh, cool. Now you need to buy one of these. And I throw a link to our Etsy store up. <laughs> I need I need both. <laughs> I need me a Warpoint shirt too at some point. So, yeah. I am the king of self-promotion and selling. I should, I should have been a vacuum salesman. <laughs> Hand, handing out them Kirby's. Right? <laughs> which, I, which I'm surprised Nintendo never sued on that. Right. Things that oh. suck named Kirby. <laughs> I see what you did there. I, I think I've seen a couple of those girls at the bar. <laughs> what just, chubby pink and a blow a lot? Just sucking in whatever yeah. they can get. <laughs> They're always wearing pink. Oh god. So our next bit of news, we got New Games Plus Expo. Nice. Now that is being broadcast exclusively on Twitch in June. Yeah. I don't see... Oh, we got it here. The show will brag, broad, yeah, Brad, broadcast, broadcast live on Twitch on June 23rd at 8 a.m. Pacific. Pacific. 
11 Eastern, with a live broadcast then running from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, wow. Pacific or 12 to 7. Pacific Eastern. or 12 to 7 Eastern. Mm, gotcha. Promising game reveals, first look gameplay demos, developer interviews, and more. And this is coming from gamesradar.com, this article, where they also have a list of the companies. And a couple of these companies, like, I'm excited to see what they're bringing. I, uh, I know one that you're super excited for is Niz. Yeah. Niz is your stuff. Jizz. Niz. Oh, Niz. Okay. <laughs> oh, Koei. Yeah, cool. Sega's going to be there, too. Sega's going to be there. Koei, Tecmo. And, and from the word is, is that they're working on something big. Well, uh, I heard that it might be another console in Japan only. Well, I know that really? Sega... Well, I think that Sega said that they were working on, like, 23 titles for PlayStation 5 over the Holy next three to five years. Shit. Nice. Jeez. Yeah. So they have a ton of titles coming for PS5. Do you think they're trying to redeem themselves? Do you think they're trying to redeem themselves for those yeah, 3D but... Sonic games? <laughs> the bad acid trips? They... they said something about that. No, maybe, they apologize. Maybe a mess with my <laughs> the damn Sonic Mania. I was like, what is happening right now? Sonic Mania is crazy. Dude, I felt like, like I'm not on drugs. I was like, this feels like I'm on drugs. I'm like, not on drugs, shit. I swear. I've... I think the last good Sonic game was Sonic Hero. I yeah. Play, I haven't played a Sonic game since, like, other than Mania, other than, uh, I think, Sonic 3 back in the day. I mean, I, I played all the classic ones. I played Sonic Adventure uh, heavily. Like, 100% at all. Uh, and then I rebought it and went, Jesus, this doesn't hurt. <laughs> Fair. Because the camera was just all over the place. Like, right. you didn't know his crappy camera work back in the 90s and early yeah. 2000s. Sonic 3D Blast. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, getting on the... Uh, Sonic any game. I mean, <laughs> fair enough. You're not wrong. Where's the lie? So, exciting news for all you uh, all you cool peeps. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater News 1 and 2. Um. See, they released a list, and it's actually um, not too much, but they're releasing it on September 4th this year, which is my birthday, so hey, hey. Right. So, I mean... Are we getting a collector's edition? Uh, it hasn't said. Yeah. I'm sure there will be. Probably. They it'll... said there was going to be one that had a skateboard with it. I was going to say, it'll probably come with a skateboard. I mean, this is the day and age of you get... Oh, I'm not buying that so... one, then. It's a, it's a birdhouse skateboard. I mean... And that is his company. I mean, you... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd have it just sitting up. I can't skateboard worth of shit. I broke every single skateboard I have. I couldn't ollie. I'm too tall. Wow. <laughs> well, I some... can ride a skateboard. I just can't do any tricks. Can if you can't ride... ollie, you can't do a kick flip or any of those other flips. I can ride a bike right. with yeah. bars. Anyways. Now. <laughs> yeah, me too. As of right now, it's only confirmed that Tony Hawk's 1 and 2 will be available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. No Nintendo, no Stadia. Um, and it's only going for to now. be on the Epic's Game Store for PC. Oof. So it'll Sorry be to hear that, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about me. I got, I'm got i getting free games all the time. I just got oh. Borderlands Handsome Collection. Right. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, I got Civ 6 before that. I'm doing the same thing, too. Nice. But yeah, so Switch, Stadia, Steam, GOG users. God damn it. Seems like you're out of luck right now. This dust in the wind. Sorry, guys. Uh... And it's looking like a decent uh, list for mu uh, music tracks. So they have the original, almost all of the original tracks. There's a few that aren't included and i don't have the list in front of me i had it but it's not on here it's all licensing agreements and such unfortunately yeah there's there's definitely a license because <laughs> well some companies would own the song and now other companies own that song no rights to do it and all that fun nonsense with corporate america yeah uh here it is so, as of right now, songs that are not included in the remake for Tony Hawk 1 is 
Vilified by Even Rooter, Screamer by Speed Dealer, Nothing to Me by Speed Dealer, Psycho Vision by Suicidal Tendencies, that sucks. Commit It by Unsane, that sucks. Ain't Got Time to Waste by AIM featuring YZ, that sucks. La Hot by Grand Un Unified, Blue Thunder by Aquaski, Aquasky, mm. um, now Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 songs that aren't included. And this is the console version for Tony Hawk's 2 mm -hmm. original, not the PC soundtrack. Because the PC one, back in the day, had exclusives. Um, but this was included in everything that's not included now. And the big one that upsets me is Bring the Noise by Anthrax. Ah, oh, it sucks. It was one of my favorite ones, man. I know. It just has that, that vibe to just it. Go write a strong letter and email, Brendan. <laughs> Um, Tony, man, I think of that song, and the first thing I see with Tony Hawk the is the high school. Oh, I see the hanger. Yeah. Um, but also not included is B Boy Document 99 by the High and Mighty, featuring Yasin Bay and Mad Skills. Out with the uh -huh. Old by Alley Life, featuring Black Planet, and City uh -huh. Star by Born Allah. So it's like. It's still a really good soundtrack. I don't know if they're substituting others in. Um, so it'll be interesting to find out what we're getting with it. You know, if we're getting anything different or more. Yeah. They've at least said they the original soundtrack's going to be there, which, why? Most. I mean, most. they said mostly. No. Also um, mostly. <laughs> also, if you're on Spotify... There is an official Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 soundtrack Spotify channel. No shit. Yep. <sighs> Gotta do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do it for the culture. <laughs> really? Yeah, a cat on your shoulder. Right, right now. <laughs> you're going to just you're going to make it hard for me to grab you, aren't you? There you go. Yes, Don't Brian. worry, my name's not Alinity. I'm not going to chuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Just without call in their mouth. Goldfinger <laughs> is still on there. And yeah, Goldfinger's yes. my jam. Just like you said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Up next. Alrighty. We have. Oh, big news. Big, big news. Bren, you want to take? We're me finally, me we're finally yes. getting more info on the PS5. Brendan's very happy. <clears throat> the other day, I was talking about. He was really excited. So. <laughs> We have an event set for June 4th. Mm -hmm. the PlayStation CEO says supplies look good for launch. So I don't think we're going to see a shortage of supplies. And the article that we pulled this from was from CNET. They're pretty. I like CNET. Yeah. yeah. CNET's pretty well, good. Well, at least on business. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> now, we're getting this at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Uh. Eastern. Um, um that ah, oh, that's such a weird time. Like oh, right yeah. in the middle of the day like that. Yeah. Like some people are just getting back to work. You know, you throw this out there. Hey, I'm taking a late lunch. You know, I'm gonna take my lunch yeah, right. last hour of the yeah. day. <laughs> see so, so you won't see me and there'll be a reason for that. And they they confirmed that it is still set for holiday season this year. There hasn't been a delay. Yeah, so uh, Jim Ryan, PlayStation CEO, came out and he said in an interview, we are absolutely on track. We're going to launch this holiday. We will have a global no launch. Shit. Unlike the PS4 that didn't launch in Japan until like two weeks after it launched everywhere else. Really? Yeah. That's weird. That it had a delayed, delayed launch. It's Japan. In, in, in Japan? In Japan. I mean, they get the first of everything. I know. Uh, it blew my mind. Yeah. Usually the first of everything, but... Um, and they said that, yeah, we are greatly looking forward to it. We very much want the gaming world to look forward to it, too. Solid. That's crazy. Well, I mean, they've been making these secret backdoor deals. And obviously, our next show, our main topic discussion is going to be this. Yeah. Um, Have you decided if we should stream it? And I'll watch it together. 
with it being at 4 p.m., it's going to be so hard to do. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'll be at work. Uh, 4 p.m., I'm not even out of work yet. Yeah, I mean, me me and Steve could do a reaction video to it. No, I mean, we just we just have to wait and then end up doing it, like, the day after or figure out sometime. Well, you know what? Me and Steve could do, like, a live reaction to it. And then... Talk about it. Um, because that'll be... Yeah. On, I think that it's on Thursday. I think the 4th is Thursday. I think so, too. Today's the 31st. Yeah, so the 4th is the Thursday. Yeah. So, Last day of the month. So then... We'll get a couple days later. We could do our overall discussion about it. Um, Sweet. If we want to do that, and that's something we'll discuss a little bit in depth after the show. Okay. Um. But what do you guys expect this to be? Hopefully, a console reveal and at least a few first-party games. That's fair. Yeah. Same. There, could be, there could be like one or two third party major titles. Like, I think they're going to show Assassin's Creed running on the PlayStation 5. Yeah, I could see that. Because they, I think they showcased it on a PlayStation 5. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely did. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm the same with Jay. Um, console reveal games. Now, I know we have a list. I think it's like 36, 38 games that they plan on releasing over the next three years, I believe it was. Right. Three to five years, I believe this list was. But, uh, mm. I mean, things change, so. I see a Yuffie was in the chat on mm -hmm. the stream. Nice, Yuffie. Um, but, yeah, I I think if they don't do a console, un, like a console reveal, they're fucking up. You, you almost have to do a they're, console reveal. They're going, point. they're going to, because everything that they've put out, massive hype. I was gonna say they, they would have. It's to not like here, it's not like the Xbox. Like the Xbox, people came out, the fanboys came out, but then PlayStation Five showed the Unreal Engine Five, and well, actually, that was actually uh, they didn't. Like, that wasn't a Sony thing. That was Unreal doing it with Sony. Like, they're like, hey, look, yeah. this is all done on a PlayStation 5. Like, yes. Sony didn't yeah. have anything to do with it until, like, after. I was like, dude, that if Unreal Engine is showing their how well they're doing on a place or on PlayStation and not Xbox, dude, come on. Like, that, yeah. that that's got to tell you something well, right there. There was a lot of, the, the biggest thing was like there wasn't a lot of love for the graphical power of the Xbox. Like there was like the one or two games that we talked about during that uh that inside Xbox review. But the rest of them looked horrible. Like yeah. Vampires 2 looked pretty bad and they all looked like they looked like computer games. But they didn't look next gen, you know what I mean? No, no they some of those looked like they were running on a a, a last gen console. Yeah. Kind of and then Sony <laughs> comes out, and they're like, this is The Last of Us 2, and this is what this game looks like, and this is Ghost of Tsushima, and this is what this looks like. All on a PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Unreal Engine comes out, and there's a lot of people that were going like, I'm, I'm sorry, Xbox, I'm going to have to try out the Sony. Dude, I mean, that I'm just... to try out the PlayStation 5. Just totally destroyed it. To kind of add to like, it's getting hype already. About it, so. uh, well, they're not gonna did, you, hype. did you see all the memes that they were posting? Yeah. I saw about most of them. About well, how Xbox has it in the bag, like they're gonna destroy Sony this console war. <laughs> no, no, hard no. And then, and, then, and then you have a lot of Xbox fanboys jumping ship, yeah. Yeah, right. And like Steve was just saying, uh, um, to add to what you're saying, Jay, Sony's not gonna waste all this hype to just screw it up. They're no, well, they they show the future of gaming and they showed the controller, which it was black. It wasn't the white controller that we just saw. Yeah. I know. So there's already two different variations we have. Right. And yeah. so we got two different variations of the controller, which is awesome. Um, Does that mean there's going to be two variations of the console? A white one and a black one? Maybe. Probably. I mean, they did with the PS4. Racist. Wow. <laughs> but in, sh don't start. <laughs> I'm just saying with the white one, you can spray that shell and give it whatever color you want. Uh, True. True. Wait, what are you trying to try to make a political stance, Jay? No. I'm just oh, trying to. No, hey, no hey, stances gonna... here. I'm just going to throw Cheeto dust at mine. 
Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa so buddy. It's gonna have a dust cloud in the shape of Trump's hair on uh, the top of it. <laughs> well, oh. Um, <laughs> Brian give their balls a tug. <laughs> yeah, right. So figure it out. I think that if for some reason they don't do a console reveal, that will be a huge downfall, a huge mm -hmm. wasted opportunity to actually destroy Microsoft and Xbox right now. They... Well, it, it's 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 also the fact that like the hype. Oh yeah, it's just real. As soon as they posted that, people were like, PS5 reveal? I, I don't think well, so. And then, they didn't themselves. even say PS5 reveal. They said PS5 event. Like, yeah. all, the, re all the, the, the hype, I feel like they didn't even have to build any. It's been there. Um, and maybe well, this yeah, because they haven't said along. anything. Right. Maybe that's been their plan X all Xbox along. Xbox showcased the system. Xbox was talking about the, uh, the graphical power and the capabilities and all well, that. Well, Sony was just sitting in the back there. burner like, we know what we're doing. We've right. done this for years. Let's make a great console. Yeah. I mean, basically, yep. Microsoft, they're that they're zebra stripe gum. They put all their th good things in the beginning, and they're just, they have nothing else to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's running off of both, both systems are running off a of computer archetype. So, um, well, yeah. Pretty much. And, but the thing with that, too, and, though, is that Sony talking with AMD, you know, they said that the stuff that we're developing will be available for PC at a later date, but. It's gonna be the PS PS5 first, like, dang. Would you ever imagine being like the people that started Ryzen and went, "We're gonna be a better processor than Intel Oof. just on price and competition"? Because everything's running AMD over Intel now. Right. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm, what was it? Three years ago, they were saying, "Don't even touch AMD if you want a game." Yeah. I got an AMD right there. Yeah, Ryzen you got five. a Ryzen. Yeah, the Ryzen. I got one five. too. Yeah. Got the, I got the 2600. <clears throat> or, I think it is. The Ryzen 3. It might be 2500. Yeah. No Ryzen 5, I think. Is it? Did Ryzen 5 do a 2500? Yeah. yeah. I got the 3600X. No, no X. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm going to end up investing into a good a good system for gaming and then turn the one I have into computer like, well. like synergy just said he has amd and it runs perfectly fine yeah as yeah. that they they've based on their competitive nature and having it because i mean it's it's a pretty good system for what you're paying for yeah boards are pretty cheap eh? it, it, intel they, they're expensive because intel right it's intel Ooh, he's got a ryzen me. 7 nice yeah since yeah, he's got a ryzen 7 he's, he's always got crispy streams Oh well, wait, <laughs> Synergy. What which which computer is that in? <laughs> Oof. Cause... But yeah, I mean, I'm eager to see what the next console cycle will be. I pretty much play everything PC now, but you know that's all, that's because yeah. it's the new thing and it's it's new to me and I'm I'm experiencing the highs and lows, of PC gaming. Yeah. Yeah. But there's not I mean... too many lows except I suck. <laughs> the thing that, that's really drawing me to the PS5 is that Cerny said they're more worried about immersion. Right. Yeah. Visually, we they can't really do much more. Uh, no, we, but we, they're talking we, about we, that we've 3D about audio system. We've touched on this, and it's definitely still... Yeah, I mean, like, we've touched on it before, um, but the other thing, too, that AMD is bringing to the table for next-gen console is ray tracing question yeah for all of us and people watching um well that's been so, confirmed for xbox that hasn't been confirmed for playstation yet has it yeah yeah it has been ray yep. trace oh yeah yeah, yeah on, on playstation yeah mm -hmm. it was confirmed for ps5 so oh, okay. the question for people us and people watching um since like brendan just kind of said there's only so much you can do with like i guess gaming do you think the typical visually consoles, like, evolve visually but sony's doing immersion that's awesome sauce um do you think with all this new tech and how the new next gen consoles are being made that it's going to be more than a ten year life cycle? Because of all the tech going into it, or no? PlayStation wasn't a ten. PlayStation Four wasn't ten year life cycle. PlayStation Three was. Okay, like okay. PlayStation on the average, Three went before for things over 10 start years. like every ten years they start. You know, five. It, it's every five to seven that they start looking at a new one. 
But do you yeah. think do you think all this new stuff will actually prolong, and you see a higher cap on like no life I don't. cycle? And no? I'll tell you why. There's just so much technology that comes out in a five year span. Um, I mean, that's like saying you know Fair. what, I'm gonna buy a seven thousand dollar computer right now, mm -hmm. and expect that to last and be on par with a five thousand dollar computer in five years. Fair. It's never gonna happen. Well, I went to Walmart earlier, and they had a 1660 Ti. Don't buy from Walmart. Don't buy from Oh, no, no. I was, that's why I was making the comparison about how trash they are. But, like, a 1660 Ti graphics card, I mean, I got a base 1660, and it runs just fine. Yeah. Most games are high quality. If I want to drop it down, then I can get some frames. Yeah, I, I, have, six, I, mean, I have a 1662. Yeah, it runs fine. It's not Ti, but that computer was selling for, like, $1,000. It's yes. Walmart. Um. Yeah. They're ever well, and the, the thing with that too, like especially with like the 1660s, uh, the 1600 series is already backdated because they're running a 20 mm -hmm. to 2000 series. Come into this year, they're going to be running a 3000 series. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to upgrade my shit to that. I'm not. I'm going to go 2000 series. I'll get a 2080 Ti. Okay. Just because the 2080s in the end of the year will be the same price as a 1080 now. So oh, okay, yeah, I'll just get that. You'll be able to pick up a 2080 for 300 bucks. You know, we're right now yeah, do that. five, seven hundred between five and seven hundred bucks. So I'm gonna upgrade my board and everything. Just gonna have four slots of RAM and I, I got I got plans. <laughs> I got plans. I got some. They had this. They had this water cooled, amazing piece of machinery. Like it had. It, it, the case was it had a bunch of panels you can take off like glass and it slid out like it actually pulled out the hmm. back of it uh -huh. I know and then you, you can about. install it yeah and it was water cooled and all that and they ran like i didn't like the color scheme but it would obviously changed it but there were so many so much capabilities to like repaint your ship because it takes off in panels like they got metal uh paste, pieces on the outside or at least yeah. they look me me metallic you can spray paint that whatever color you want and then run it yeah Fair enough. Plus, plus water cooled. It's, it's the future. Well, that's. I mean, mine's water cooled. Yeah, I want. I want a water cooled system. I want it to look all cool. I well, want to put a fish tank in my in my computer. Well, mine's that? mine's actually AOI. It's an AOI system. Um. I have no idea. My cramps. <laughs> it's just that it, it's an all inclusive system. It's a. All, oh, okay. It's like a, a pre built where it's just a radiator, a fan, and the uh, CPU. The water. Yeah, it, 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 there's no actual reservoir for the cooler. It just runs through. It's a closed loop. Mm. Um, kind of like a car. Yeah, pretty much. But it, it works good. Um, and you can pick up an AOI, or an AI, I, yeah, I think it's AOI, um, for 150 bucks. Um, that's what a lot of people do. And they work fine. Um, unless you're doing heavy gaming water cooling your gpu is overkill i'd say but it looks cool i mean it looks cool but yeah. like overkill overkill it looks i would cool. just i would just keep the fan on it because i mean it works just fine oh yeah i i I'll water cool it i don't give a shit it looks cool yeah it i mean it, it works but it's overkill but, well, I, but there's no better kill than overkill i was gonna say i'd rather be over than under oh yeah because wow. under you get come back you, you came back on yeah yeah, <laughs> that's not Keck. <laughs> All right, so Keck, yeah. moving on a little bit oh, early, yeah. earlier. Because we'll have one more to talk about with Sony next week. Yeah. Yeah. We can actually shorten the news and then just do mostly that. Well, yeah, I mean, good. our news segment was longer this week because we did skip two weeks. Yeah. yeah I like Brendan's idea. I was like, yeah, we failed. Just... We failed for the last two weeks. Well, I mean, everybody, everybody, <laughs> We're had, back. Life. everybody had life going on. I mean, you see the you see the Steve. Yeah, we got the Steve in person in 4K. Even though you guys can't see him in 4K, I can see myself in 4K. <laughs> it, is it beautiful? Yeah. Hopefully, next week we'll have Jay not on a phone. But Working we'll towards see, it. We'll see. Working towards it. <laughs> and eventually, we'll get Brendan off of a potato camera. Oof. Oof. Eventually. Kind of upset that I can't even like use built-in software to adjust this camera. I know. It's, 
it's so to shut off that auto light focus thing. So frustrating. Yeah. Um, so. All right. So earlier in the show, we asked you guys, what was your favorite video game genre? We didn't get well, any, what is? What is? What was? Yeah. Yeah, what was, was is a past tense It's still best work, though. You could always like was, older genres. And I was in past world. tense because I was talking about a question that we asked before in the past. No, no, you can past still say past, what was present, your favorite present, genre. The future, nobody knows. Stop, Brendan. You get that negativity out of here. Anyway. <laughs> so we'll talk about it a little bit. If you're listening right now, watching right now, chime, chime in in the chat. Let us know what your favorite genre is while we talk about ours. Steve, you want to start? So, What's your favorite genre? Oh, a favorite? Uh, honestly, uh, MMOs. J well, MMOs, JRPG, and uh, we're gonna go old school like God of War. Go to old God of War, mash and hack and slashes. How? Oh yeah, blood, Button mash and hack and slash. All the other things, mash. definitely that specifically is just like if you're in that mood, you don't want to do. You just get on that single player game. You just beat the shit out of people. <laughs> right. Yeah. And getting yeah. And getting orbs too. Just go around. All you guys know, just go around. Just oh, this looks hey, enjoyable. <laughs> I get it. Every now and again, you just need a good button masher. Yeah. That's God yeah. of War's my go-to, honestly. So Jay. Favorite genres? Uh, first person shooters. Always had a love for them. That's why some moments I can actually do some like god level tier shit, and then other Whoa. times I just I choke. We got a badass in the chat, guys. Could, yeah. Well, there's always ass in the chat online. Just like, <laughs> oh, you had that until your legs hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's happened plenty of times. Synergy knows about that. <laughs> so, but uh, RPGs. Um, Honestly, I, I I play just about everything, so it, it could really swing both ways. But first person and RPGs are usually the the go to. Nice. Fair, fair. Brent. So, mine is hands down RPGs. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, but I'm definitely more of a, an action or shooter Souls. type RPG. Souls. Like uh. I've absolutely fell in love with Borderlands when it came out. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, action that RPG. Good? I'm a sadist at, when it comes to this, but I'm a Souls lover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is. I can't confirm. Glutton for punishment. I uh, oh, I am. I am. I, I, de I definitely hate myself on some kind of level <laughs> for the things I put my through in that game. You must. Um, but even... Uh, JRPGs, turn-based, basically. Oh yeah. oh yeah, definitely turn style. Nice. Um, so for me, first and foremost, JRPGs. Oh yeah. Um, I'm in love with even turn-based ones. You know, I'm just in love with the JRPG. Fine, you know, the original Final Fantasy, seven, eight, nine. Um, even now with the Switch. Um, the uh, Octopath Traveler, I love that game. Like it's such a good game, and it. Damn weeb. I know, right? Wow, <laughs> uh, that's culture appropriation, Jay. My second favorite would have to be <laughs> strategy <laughs> sim games like Age of Empires. That 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 kind mm. of feel. Um, civilization. Oh man, I remember you used to be in, obsessed with Age of Empires. I still am, man. I still play it a lot. Mine used to be Command and Conquer, Red Alert, Two. Command and Red Conquer. Alert, Red Alert Two. Uh, general is all right. Command and Conquer. CC and like just the not even gods and generals, but the actual like the ones you click point all yeah. that shit. Oh, yeah. it's pretty fun. Real time and, strategy. Yeah, real time it's strategy. So RT. Okay, yeah, definitely good times. And then number three for me is driving simulators like oh, yeah. Gran Turismo, Forza. Uh, what's that one that I've been playing? Oh. Uh, Project Cars. Oh. Dude, I remember coming over your parents' house the one day, and you and your dad have to be the only ones I know that actually did the 24-hour race. Yeah. Mm. We would take turns. When you pit, you, you pass off the controller. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, that's how co-driving uh, works. One person takes a nap. Yeah, I mean, it... It was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> and just and just like the the, the twenty four hour endurance races, your console blows up if it can't handle it. Exactly. It. You see. <laughs> <laughs> All 
If it burns, it burns. I do. I do have to jump in with the fourth type. Would always be fighting games too. I do like fighting yeah, games. It's just I don't know the. It seems like most fighting games don't have their soul after the early 2000s. Well, yeah, like a question like this is kind of hard with lifelong gamers like us. Mm-hmm. Because we can appreciate different parts of a genre. There's actually so many. Genres like obviously around. RPGs, very story driven. Very like in-depth character growth. Yes. yes. Plus the ground. Um, Online just scares me because I don't want to get beat up like, you know. <laughs> I, I have I have post-traumatic stress disorder. If I get beat up in a video game, it kind of fucks them. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> like especially if it's brutalized if it's if it's a if it's a good 1v1 and it's back and forth like i win one they win one i win one they win Just, you know it's like that you like about, classic tennis about, match talk about pts until one person games. wins like two or three games straight because they've they've tired the other person out you want to see brendan get then, triggered? yeah you see brendan like, get triggered? those are the fun ones but you know, like if i jump in a game and my whole health bar goes away in like five seconds about to drop a bomb miss me on that shit here comes steve dropping bombs so talk about game PTSD. Ask Brendan about Party Finders on FF14. Oh God! <laughs> no. no. Suki, no. I'm that is paying. the reason. That is the reason I will not do the hard fights anymore. <laughs> spending Watch, days, suck. spending days, not even getting anything done, just trying to find a decent, decent enough of a group that you can actually clear the content with. Right. See, that that seems like the problem I've I've noticed when you guys stream it's, fourteen. Is people actually, Brendan, it's just don't it's, know how to it's not play. as yeah. much as like that. Get anymore. out it's, of the fire! It's not even it's not even the runs itself. It's the party finders, the actual like people. They just one wipe this band. Well, just remember, DPS is higher inside the fire. I mean, that's what I tell people all the time. I'm like, hey, this gives you an extra DPS buff. Stand in the blue it's because you suck. That just, you just got to be honest with people. Dude, I will sit there and troll people in this thing called MSQ Roulette and people. I just like, all right, stand in the blue fire. It gives you a DPS buff. Stand in the AOE. If, if, the orange AOE there was, the buff. There was war zone chats that I was just trashing people. Not like They were just commenting, saying do. a bunch of stuff in there. And I was just sitting in the chat because I was dead and couldn't do anything. So I was watching watching who i was streaming with just talking shit like, Listen, yeah, that's, what, that's what i'm doing <laughs> i've learned to take the salt and just use a lot of passive aggressive sarcasm i like i, do, I like doing waste his time 2020 there you no. go yeah meet me at such and such how about it, that catch me outside how about that it wouldn't be so bad steve if i had more time to play but i, I get it no, I, I get, get it. maybe an hour or two a night I get and I don't yeah. want to spend 45 minutes just trying to get someone to join. I know, I get it. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to get you to, wow, just got, maybe I'll feel I bad know. now. Um, so calm, wait, calm let's, down. Let, let's take this aggression and anger and let's move on to our main topic oh, discussion. God. Oh, God. No. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Me and Brett already started. Oh, so now that we're all wound up a little bit. You know, to start this off, we're going to talk about the Twitch Safety Council. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready right to go. No, because you know what? I tried I tried pulling articles up, seeing if there was any new news on what was going on. I know ferociously Steph was like there was word that she was pulled. He she I don't know what her pronouns are. <laughs> she, she they're, both, they're both she's dear person. We call him person. We call him person. Is yeah. that yeah. like Oh my God. She 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 it's a deer, pulled. not a doe. It, it was saying that she was pulled from the council, like she's not doing it anymore. <laughs> But all the article says that she's still a council member. Wait, wait, but... wait, 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 wait. How does one get elected? Who? We did not. We did not. <laughs> it was not people. a people vote. What is this? The Holy Yeah, the gamers the Holy do Grail? not approve of this decision. She was like, most, appointed. Most of her chat was people wait, trolling her. So did the lady uh, at the lake? Unfortunately. Did the lady at the lake give her a sword? Is that what made her the, the queen of. <laughs> it's no way of establishing a government. So <laughs> this this website that I pulled bounding into comics. Yes. Oh, God. What is she wearing? I love wrote an article on this. Get this. What the hell is she wearing? It says that the Twitch this person, John Trent, who wrote the article, said that the Twitch Safety Advisory Council member, ferociously Steph, recently took to social media to encourage looting throughout the US. Ferociously, Steph's comments come after widespread looting and property destruction in Minneapolis and St. Paul, as well as Los Angeles, in response to the death of George Floyd. Okay? There's five more paragraphs after this. None of it, none of it is about the Twitch Safety Council. 
Oh God! But that he person just, was brought he, up. He goes deeper and deeper into the George George Floyd murder. The I, opportunist. Yes. Yep. I I understand the story needs to be reported on, but other than Here's what the... is currently going on and happening legally, you well, can't just go. No, oh, one person well, said something, well, so here we go into another well, topic about it. Well, you know what? Hold on, because here here's my thing with it. Okay. And I'll be following after him. So. From the beginnings, death has been like, yeah, uh, yeah, she's been controversial. Um, so yeah. on May 14th, this when she was elected to or made part of its safety council, <laughs> safety advisory council, no. she had a statement on stream that said the only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of play is to not have voice oh, chat. Bullshit. To not have people give out their linguistic profiles. What? This reminds me of an article I read the other day about... That's that's using big words trying to sound smarter than you actually are. Oh, for sure. Well, <laughs> for sure. I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking her her vocabulary, but it sounds like she's she's uh, grand, she's just throwing that shit out there. Granted, out. yeah. It, it, uh, uh, like let's let, let's let's throw some examples out there, all right? Guy berating a woman for playing video games, right? It sucks. We we've all heard it. What do you do? Report mute it. that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Report it. Mute it. Mute it. Then report yeah. it. But whatever. Same different. Just. Mute. No, I mean it depends on level of harassment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, but I mean, if, if, it, if you mute them and then they decide to keep messaging you, block them. There's options in all these games and all these different blacklist. styles that you can not talk to people you don't want to talk to. Also, build, find a community of people you want to stream with. It's not hard. Well, and it, this is coming from our best friends at Kotaku. Oh, God. That's oh, $5,000 $5, right there. Um, you know, they say, well, just mute it is a commonly suggested solution. But if voice chat is so unimportant that you can afford to stick your fingers in your ear and carry on, then what's all this fuss about in the first place? Fair enough. Exactly! No, 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 no. What, just... they're, what they're saying is that if you can just, just mute it and be fine, then why do we have voice chat in the first place? Oh my god. Um, right, so... Because some of us thrive in the toxic. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. And... We're elitist guys. So, oh, elitist. I love talking shit at Call of Duty. Period. Yeah. That's, that's Call of Duty. I'm, that's Call of Duty board. I'm still gonna talk shit. And I will say it does get a little awkward when I hear some seven year old. Oh yeah. I slept with your mother. This goes back to our our gaming days back in the day. Right. I was fifteen <laughs> saying that, so I can't really I don't really have room to we talk. We all shit talk like that, but that's like <sighs> I did I did make some kid's mom talk to me online. Nice. It didn't it didn't go the way I wanted go to it bed, to go. Timmy. Go to bed, Timmy. Me and your mom have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> But, it, was, it wasn't pH level of, uh, of fun. It was me getting yelled at. I mean, you know, you, okay. Why are you yelling at my son? Because I can. Well, what good is that? Because? I don't know. It's fun. So. <laughs> it brought you this in. This game's ready to Steph M. goes so. on to say, after her, that stream, if you use your voice chat, you're revealing your linguistic profile, your voice, which can open you up to being harassed or considered less of a good player because there are systematic issues with our society and how people treat non-standard voices. So there is an inclusivity cost to voice chat. Oh, this... And if you want to get more marginalized gamers with non-standard voices to be professional players, you have to address voice chat. Um, look, this is my confused look, like, the hell? Like... Freedom of whoever you want to be associated with. That's where I'm at. If you want to be associated with these type of people, then be associated with them. If you don't like them, then don't have them in your chat. Yeah, I, I watched one of her streams after the whole, like, okay, so, quote, this isn't like she said it, it got requoted. There's video evidence of her going, I think gamers are all white supremacists. That's what, just what I think. That's a fact or an opinion of what I think is true. And I was like, video games are for everybody. So, am I supremacist for not ever watching a stream of hers ever? <laughs> yes. Dance. You're 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 a uh, you're you're a beastie uh, beastie too because you think humans are better than deer. Oh my fuck! <laughs> what? 
What? I don't know. St uh, are you just messing, or is I, that like? I pulled. Yeah, I pulled an arbitrary insult. That I somebody mean, it was, might it was, think it was, that's it was believable. It was definitely like it was believable up until like a certain point. I'm like, wait. <laughs> Life's stranger than fiction sometimes. Like fair. I'm sorry. If I remember correctly, isn't she the one that said, "I'm in a position of power where certain people should okay. learn, should so, start fearing me." In mm -hmm. response to this backlash, her exact quote was. Some people should be afraid of me. I represent moderation and diversity. Okay, no, you don't. I'm coming. I'm going to come <laughs> for harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm going to stand up against you. That's what Twitch is endorsing me to do. No, that's somebody that got power. It, they, 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 they wouldn't yeah. have just one person when did she, doing when did everything. What she get told for that? Talking bad about Twitch or Twitch? She wasn't talking. Oh, about there was. Twitch. There was other moderators and people that were in that same position on the safety council going, that was kind of a dumb thing to say. Yeah. But this get, but leads back to my other question. Who elected these people? Man, it's there's different strokes through the world. I mean... Somebody... Well, somebody it looks it like they idea. only gave the positions to Twitch partners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair so, enough. So and they have, up, they have to have years in on the platform. Yeah, and so furries and all that, they they need their, their people on the council. Then that's just basically what that is. Fair it enough. looks, uh, I'm sorry, but to me it looks like Twitch made a political move to make themselves look more diverse and inclusive. But people Probably. that bullshit, though. But, because I mean, it's Twitch. It's Amazon. They yeah. have the money. They can bring in the right people to do the job the right way. Not that we don't know that these people aren't going to do the job the right way, but the way ferociously Steph went about her first couple days, I mean, I, I don't think. To be she honest, will. she she could have been more trouble than what she was worth. But I can understand the intentions. The thing about it is, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Touche. So they say. And so they say. And I I don't mean to be sound rude to anybody identifying as one thing or another, but there's people that use what they're. Uh, quote unquote identifying as as, as a, a reason, reason to yep. feel like they're being discriminated yep there's real discrimination out there there's real hardship there's real racism and fucking nastiness in the world L why listen, keep adding to it listen, so you can play a victim listen role? jay like i i agree with your yeah. sentiments like i don't care who you are what you are that this be a good dude be a good person just be nice i don't care you do you do you basically well this person identifies as a deer and i mean that's that's cool i've heard of uh animal kin or i think that's what it is when you oh. when you identify as a nest for an animal people I mean, identify as cats all the time that's fine i get it but this but is you this... gotta understand it's not normal so people aren't gonna act like it is that's another thing and you can't force everybody how you feel not to get overly political but that's it's you know if you want to identify as an animal uh by all means just don't get mad at me for not fully understanding it Cause I just, that's, yeah. I keep to myself, my be, small group of friends. Be willing to it. inform people. Cause yeah, like, I mean, I, 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 I might joke about a furry every once in a while, but that doesn't mean I think they're bad people. I think furries doing what make fun do. of other furries. Everyone makes fun of everybody. Yeah. That's everybody, just, everybody. That's, that's the thing. If you're willing to have jokes be made about you, that means you're a normalized person in culture. Well, and see the other, the other frustrating thing too is she actually goes on later to admit that the real reason she wants voice chat banned is because she is constantly harassed by cisgendered gamers. I hate that title. I hate anything that adds like cis, cis heads and just, just weird names. She for... also states that it is a fact that all white cisgendered gamers are neo-Nazis white supremacist nah. and that, nah, oh my God. that she is planning on changing and banning these assholes with her newfound power okay well, uh okay. I, th I think she's saying like i don't think people she, like that care about us normal everyday people she, but i think it's the bigger name people that are more reactionaries that get attention okay she watched too much use uh, the platform she watched too much revenge of the sith quoting anakin skywalker about having power <laughs> Um, that's the first thing somebody to needs to make a video of her doing palpatine force lightning and talking Dude, shit. i will i will lose my shit oh my god yes there could be some it. people that we can <laughs> add to it we can call it revenge of the simp yes <laughs> revenge of the sis <laughs> that's uh, a good one i like that one better revenge of the simp gotcha 
Coin that term. <laughs> I, I I don't see this going down good. No, um, not not the way they want it to go. Um, now they've also brought on Co Carnage, uh, Cup Cup of Noodle, and mm. Zizzeron. I don't know these streamers. I don't know them either, but Cup of Noodle sounds pretty delicious right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Well, I don't love this planet anymore. She's also been recruited by the ADL anti -defam Def defamation defamation death league, the ADL, and is now recognized as a leading authority and professional community leader in gaming culture. I'm just I'm not gonna I, no. Let, that's let, bait, let, mate. Let me, let me read. No, I'm bait. just I'm just saying. <laughs> my close or just whatever the previous statement was. It's just frustrating that she's in power and if anybody out if you or me or steve or who greg down the street i, blame, I do these, blame steve made these comments <laughs> we would be kicked off twitch Shut we up. would be kicked off whatever council we were on and our lives would be criticized because we thought that you know this isn't right yeah you know and she's come out before on stream live and said that she's had a problem with straight white male cisgender. That people. by there should just should discredit her because like, she has pre, she already has that she has, pre, she's prejudice. Right. This is pre prejudice. She's not objective. Uh -huh. I'm sorry if you're in that power, you should have to be objective, have some objectivity. I mean, this whole thing sets up Gamergate two. I mean, completely sets up Gamergate two, and lays the groundwork for it. Yeah, oh but... my God! Yes. Here we go. Uh -oh. Gamergate 3, Revenge of the Sis. Bam! Trademark. <laughs> trademark it now, Brent. Yeah. Like how I should have <laughs> trademarked the 2020, the year of the delay, because that's what we had. Uh, I mean, I wish I would have trademarked uh, a pill that made your fart smell like cinnamon rolls. Because <laughs> apparent, yeah. apparently there was a pill going around that would claim that it, it made your fart smell like cinnamon rolls. What about the glitter and pill, Me too. and my buddy... Like we're just pill. we we were intoxicated when we came up with it, but it was pretty damn funny at the time. That's and he's like, "I'm gonna make a pill that up. makes your farts smell like cinnamon rolls," and I'm like, uh, "All right then." And we fucking lost it, and million dollar opportunity right. wandered there. Guys, follow your dreams. Even if you have a random idea and no one's doing it, do it. That's why it's <laughs> you got to do it. Yeah. Synergy is yelling no at me to bring back it. my stash. The port stash? You need to. I need to bring Chris back Chris the stash. stream. You're the, you're the most clean-shaven person on the stream. Yeah, I know. Oh, don't worry, Jay. You will be, too. No, I, I'm keeping mine. Working in a mill. Oh, I shut the monitor no, I got I got face shields. I'm good. I don't grow much hair anyways. Only this. You can have some, you can have some my hair jeans. A few patches. Jay, you can have some my hair jeans. I'll share it to you for sure for free. I shaved it all. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want a pew beard. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Steve. You... <laughs> Steve. <laughs> That's it. Steve's trigger. <laughs> I hope you. I hope you. I hope you. Listen. I hope your bacon burns. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Wow, that's a I low hope, blow right I there, man. Sit, I hope you sit in a chair and only get 92% <laughs> right. I hope the next time you get some milk, it's this much. <laughs> yeah, I hope your pop is Luke cold. You know, I hope you get in your car one day and you realize I have to go to the gas station. I hope one day <laughs> that your mom. Oh. I love passive aggressive arguments. Right? Uh, That's what I do. That's what I do in dungeons to help mitigate the salt because I'm a salty player. <laughs> oh my god. Well I love you too. I'm, I'm gonna go buy your mom a nice seafood dinner and never call her pack. <laughs> Dor Dorothy Mantooth was a saint. <laughs> oh god. So the good news is, is ever since I went on my rant about Twitch dropping frames, I haven't dropped a single frame. So. They heard. <laughs> well, there you go. The Twitch gods. I've been watching Twitch it. Twitch gods, so. listen. 
the Twitch gods have listened. We gotta start. We gotta start each episode out now with praying to the Twitch gods. Oh, stream gods I'm, that I'm, be, please I'm, don't let us lose. I'm praying. Frames. I, I'm praying. I, or I'm praying. I get to affiliate fast. Because, I mean, it only took me a month to get up to fucking Facebook affiliate. We'll get you, we'll get you to affiliate. Listen, guys, I have nine followers, we'll by the way. We'll get, we'll get both the ends to affiliate. I got, I got like 17, many, many for affiliate? I think. I have, nine. I have nine right now. 50 followers, an average of three views per stream. Stream um, for seven days. Seven days, And stream hours. for four hours. Uh, Is it four hours or 14? I think so it's four. Seven days of FF7 Remake for it? Okay. As long as you get good followers, you gotta have three at a time. Average three viewers. Yeah. Well, oh, shit. But, I mean, I always had lurkers. It's just Facebook wouldn't notify people on my streaming. Bastards. Yeah. I found I found that out with the last one. Right. <laughs> and I was like, this is my goodbye stream for hiatus, guys. You gotta watch it. I need you guys to watch this. My hot sauce challenge is still my best one, though, so. Wait, what? I gotta do another one. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't think we have much else for today. Um, no, I think that's it. We went on our no. Twitch. Our Twitch. Jay's I mean, there's not really much anything else to talk about with this advisory council thing. Yeah. That's st okay. That's still going to irk me for a bit. I mean, I'll get over it eventually. I just don't understand. Like, dear problems, bro. It's, yeah. it's not even about this this <laughs> chick this this person whatever I I'm just calling everybody a person or a, a, a soul. It's not, Who are you it's to not assume? mankind? It's people kind. Oh my Who are god! You to assume that they are human. The ones that okay. are breathing. Okay, here, 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 here. Here's even here's even a more neutral one. Oh fuck! Carbon based life form. Boom. There you go. Hey, we got no. that's what we got to do from now on. No. Everybody's a carbon based life form. What if they What if they identify with the other parts inside their body, not just carbon? Bro, <laughs> I, I don't. I have you percent. I'm two. I, I'm two percent ammonia. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me okay. Over the full well alchemist recipe for a human. Scientifically, you cannot exist without the carbon in your body. Okay. Yeah. There, you're a carbon-based life. Those are white male scientists. <laughs> <laughs> all serious, no. All joking oh, aside. Man. All jokes aside. Stop. Streams canceled. <laughs> Just stop. guys. Guys, we're. I'm losing more frames all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it would be a good time to wrap up anyways. Well, yeah, that's what I was figuring out. I, I was actually trying to stretch it out like an extra five and a half minutes from right now. So Listen, no, exactly you all had your rants. You all had your rants. This is my rant. This is your rant? This okay. is my rant. I'm invoking the rant. I don't rant much. So what <laughs> he I do, invokes his right to rant. Every every five times I get the rant. It's like a he little punch card. I, I, I'll accept it. I'll allow it. The he council means, agrees. He means invoke, not revoke. <laughs> revoke his license. Yeah, he's revoking his right to. <laughs> Re revoking the man card. <laughs> well, that um, means you sit back there and you shut your mouth. He's revoking Men are his carbon based life form card. Boop. <laughs> Ironically made out of carbon. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moving on. <laughs> If you're a streamer, I get you want to use your your power, as she so put it, or whatever the hell, the person. No, us gamers, we like to do gaming stuff. We like to have that fun community of gaming and do all that fun stuff. But no, we play video games to either escape or have fun with our friends. Make, make your community however you want to make it. Um, well, you I, you have the ability to make a bunch of shit talkers and trolls. You have the ability okay, that's to fine. make that uh, is fine. Do uh, it on your own thing. Heartwarming, wholesome community. But do it on your but own. She can't. You don't encompass everybody because you're salty. You're and she said yeah. that she already she hated white males prior to this. She has no objectivity. Go yeah. do this. Go do something else. Go over here. Do the things. Just leave us. Go eat some grass. Well, let me enjoy Go my graze. let me enjoy my effing games, okay? Let me enjoy go, my fr go have friends. a damn gear deer gasm. Well, she did that on stream. Yeah, she no. had a stream that she Ugh. had her partner, whatever they're considered. I don't know. Okay, well, they're, part, partner's fine. They're you part, can say partner. They're it's, partners and they're both trans women. Well, her partner. The, the correct term is partner, so that's fine. Grooming her. Yeah. 
and she starts twitching and making deer noise. Are you telling me on that stream, she literally live. got off on stream? Dead serious. Sometimes, sometimes Rob, Rob, you look at your webcam right now with a dead serious face and you tell me that's what, what she actually did. That is exactly what happened. Oh, God. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes I, you gotta pay 20 bucks in an OnlyFans account for that. <laughs> 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 at least she's not using OnlyFans. She's doing it free for everybody. <laughs> I'm not new. I'm, I'm done. I've got nothing. I'm done. Alright. Alright, well, well, Rob killed it. Show's over. <laughs> what? Why did I kill it? You asked me! <laughs> I'm just talking like this. she seriously did it. Like that's an actual thing that happened. Yeah. As, that's just that's as ridiculous. Fucked up as I'm it out. is, that's an actual thing that happened. Yes, energy. Right. I have no idea. I I only follow a few Twitch streamers. I go by what Rob, Brendan, Jay say. <laughs> but I'm just I'm baffled. I don't really want to look it up either because I just might just rage. We're very influential. Ass. Yeah, yeah. We we're, we. <sighs> <laughs> Never mind. That's an off-stream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So on that note, I think we're about done. Um, I want to thank everybody Gods. for stopping by, watching, and or listening to us ramble, depending on where you're at. Um, check out the socials in the panel or description or in the comments for links to our Facebook, Discord, Twitch, all the, all the above. Uh, Twitter's on there. Um, come join us and play some games sometime during the week. Uh, come back next Sunday for the live show and Monday for the replays on YouTube wait. and on all the podcast broadcast systems. Can, can I self-promote like you guys do about my, my Twitch? Whoa, 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 whoa. Even... That's Rob that self-promotes, oh, okay. okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta let Rob promote the hell out of you. <laughs> I mean, I'll the hell out of you. that's I'll fine, buddy. Fine. All right, Don King, calm down. <laughs> but, again, I want to thank everybody. And, as always, we'll catch you guys at the Warp Point. Bye. Peace, Peace out, guys. Peace. Bye.